Online gaming is big business in Beirut. Across the city, there are hundreds of web cafes like this one where customers play the latest online games. Higher than average internet speeds contribute to the success of the gaming centers, something in short supply in most homes. Monitoring sites of the World Wide Web say Lebanon has some of the world's slowest and most expensive internet. We need to have it less expensive, like for example, in Europe and America, we don't pay as much as we pay in Lebanon, considering even though uh, in other countries it's faster, stronger. It's complaints like that which has led to a proliferation of illegal internet providers. The networks are created using bandwidths bought from nearby countries such as Turkey and Cyprus and offer speeds up to 10 times faster than the national provider, Ogero. An illegal industry the government has recently began cracking down on by making arrests and dismantling networks. So far, around 22 people have been charged with crimes related to illegal internet stations. They include several counts, including tax evasion, wasting public funds, and setting up illegal networks, all of which carry possible prison sentences. Despite this, many illegal internet stations remain. Government leaders say they're trying to improve internet speeds and affordability. Ogero recently announced it would boost bandwidth and slash prices by 20%, a move being criticized by gamers as too little, too late. The problem isn't technical, it's political. It's obvious that the more the government procrastinates in solving our internet troubles, the more money they make because they have a monopoly as the only internet provider. As well as trying to slow the financial losses to illegal internet providers estimated to be in the millions, the government says there are also security reasons behind its crackdowns, warning the illegal networks are vulnerable to what it described as Israeli infiltration and could indirectly assist spies. Whatever the case, all these gamers say they want is fast and affordable internet, something the government has yet to provide. Imtiaz Taib, Al Jazeera, Beirut.